Hey Grand Travelers, let's talk Disney World for a few minutes, shall we? Now most people will share with you things that you absolutely must do when at Disney. But what about some don'ts? Well, you're in luck because I have five don'ts to share with you. Now of course there are way more don'ts than that, but for time's sake, we're gonna keep it short and sweet today. So let's jump right into what not to do in Disney World, Grand Traveler style. Okay, to start us out, we have don't number one, and that is don't be afraid to go to Disney without children. Walt Disney began his company with families in mind, and that's a beautiful thing. But once your children are adults, you can still visit Disney World and have a grand time as a grand traveler. There is so much to enjoy as Disney has entertainment for people of all ages. From rides like Spaceship Earth to shows like Beauty and the Beast live on stage, you will not be at a loss for things to do as a grand traveler sans kids. Moving on to don't number two, we have don't try to do everything in one day. Now Disney World has four parks and each one of them is massive. Magic Kingdom is actually the smallest park at 107 acres, but it has around 40 attractions, which is double the amount that's found in Animal Kingdom as well as Hollywood Studios. Epcot is easily a two-day park because of World Showcase. So in other words, you're going to get tired due to age, heat, the amount of walking, and activities there are. Just make sure to do what is important to you, like ride your favorite rides and eat your favorite snacks, and if you can't manage the rest, it's truly okay. The third don't of Disney is don't feel like you have to buy all the souvenirs. Now Disney knows how to take that money right out of your wallet before you've even blinked. As grand travelers, we typically have more disposable income than when we were young with little ones. However tempting as it may be to buy souvenirs for all the children and grandchildren or even little extra tchotchkes for yourself. Only do those things if you absolutely know you're going to regret not buying them. When I go to Disney, I make a list of souvenirs that I want to purchase and that list never changes. Number one, I want a brand new coffee mug with Minnie Mouse on it. Number two, I want to try a new snack item that I've never tried before because y'all, that's an edible souvenir, right? <laughs> And then the last thing is something that has the original Mary Poppins on it. But as those are hard to come by, I typically end up purchasing something from the World Showcase, such as this hairpin from the China Pavilion and the lavender soap from the France Pavilion. But I save any shopping that I do for the end of the day so that I'm too tired to do a lot of shopping. And also, when we stay at a hotel that's not on Disney property, I shop at the Disney outlet stores on Erlo Bronson. So I just suggest to make a list and stick to it as close as you possibly can to stay away from buying all the souvenirs. Before we get to the last two don'ts, I would like to say a huge thank you to our subscribers. We appreciate you hitting that subscribe button and joining our community here on YouTube. And if you haven't subscribed yet, we would love for you to hit that button and join us as well. And if you appreciate the information in this video, would you please hit the thumbs up? It really helps our videos out so much. Thank you. Okay, so moving on to the fourth don't, we have don't just ride the popular rides. One of my favorite rides in Magic Kingdom is the Carousel of Progress. Now this ride is never crowded and it's 20 minutes of luxurious air conditioning that is a welcome relief in the Florida heat. 
But those aren't the reasons I really love this ride. It's the nostalgia, the bygone days of yesteryear, and simpler times. I absolutely love this ride. I also love riding the People Mover, or as its proper name, the Tomorrowland Transit Authority People Mover. <laughs> but that is such a mouthful. Now, I also love Journey into Imagination with Figment and the Seas with Nemo and Friends. There are so many rides that aren't considered popular rides that are worth your time. Now, I'm not saying to skip rides like Pirates of the Caribbean and Splash Mountain. Those are two of my absolute favorite rides. But make time for the not so popular if you're able to. You just may discover a new favorite ride. So the last don't of Disney is don't forget to smile. Irritations will come up. That's just a given. But while Disney is the most magical place on earth, sometimes the magic dulls just a little bit. If you get to feeling overwhelmed or irritated, just head on back to the hotel for a little rest and relaxation. Or head somewhere and find a snack and get refreshed. One of the best things I've ever eaten at Disney World was in Magic Kingdom at Pecos Bills. It was jerk chicken lettuce wraps and oh my word, so refreshing. They are served cold and couple that with some ice water and then having a table with the AC blowing right on you absolutely made me feel so much better. So do what you can to ease any irritations that you feel so that you can enjoy yourself and get that magical feeling back. There you have the five don'ts of Disney. Now, what can you add to this list? Let us know in the comments below. And be sure to check out our video on eight Disney World tips for grand travelers by clicking the info card above. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you real soon. Bye.